Hey guys, Archie Luxury. I'm the method actor who plays Paul Pluto. And today I got a message for my favorite, my favorite government organization, Queensland Rail. And I'm making this video, why, why is Nugen a disaster? Why is Nugen a disaster? And <laughs> I've tried to get my message out there but it's about time I make a video and explain the honest truth about New Gen itself there. And uh, I wanted to make this video because the election in Queensland is up and it's about time some truths be told there. And uh, let me just explain to you when the New Gen, when the New Generation rolling stock contract was, uh, was done, it was it is what is known as a performance contract basically that the winner of the contract had to build trains to a certain performance e.g. they needed to fit uh, on Queensland rail existing stations they had to go up a certain gradient they had to have um, the drivers cabins needed to be a certain fit out they had to have certain line of sight certain key indicators. Now when our good friend Jackie Trad came on the scene, um, the trains were half built. She decided, she decided with the uh, goodness of time to uh, kowtow to the unions and add a cabin for the guards. The original spec was for driver only. <laughs> The original spec was signed off by Anna Bly. Anna Bly. So before you start blaming the LNP, it was Anna Bly who originally initiated this, Jackie. This is the awful truth, but it's true. Uh, Jackie, she, she wanted to add more dunnies. Uh, I think the original spec was only one dunny on half the trains. Now... By making these changes, Jackie, you've changed a whole lot of the other specs. The DDA, etc., etc. This had a knock-on effect. The original spec was no longer relevant, and the trains that were built had to be heavily modified. The DDA, which was originally the liability of the building company, was now the liability of the state. The other issue is Jackie keeps running around saying all the changes will be made in Maryborough. Given that the contract was a whole of life contract, she can't dictate where any modifications are made or she runs the risk of transferring the operating liability to the state instead of the consortium. The original contract was for a performance specification. Key performance criteria were written there, which included the builder to maintain the trains for 30 years. All these changes muddy the liability and likely will transfer the liability back onto the state. What we do know and rightly raised, I've raised it a long time ago, is there is a bucket of delay and modifications liabilities way beyond the 150 million Jackie has told the public about so far. I'm telling you, it will be much, 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 much worse. Conservatively, over half a billion dollars. You see, by, by even changing the making the smallest changes you change the performance of the product and the builder has the right to reset what you pay by adding more dunnies by adding guards cabins you've opened a can of worms that will cost the state probably billions over 30 years these delays are making the press as a direct result of Jackie's interference Jackie, leave the bloody things alone. The other 
thing that never ceases to amaze me is that, Jackie, what you should do is get a team of quality assurance QR people, fly them over to India. These guys or gals, these people will check the trains before they're loaded onto the ship coming to Australia. That's what you should do. I have mentioned this in previous videos, but I don't think you you uh, I don't think you've understood what I've said there because uh, you 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 haven't sent over a team. You've got to have a QA team. They need to check the product before it's loaded on the bloody ship. Okay, I can't make it any clearer than this, Jackie. And. Uh, Jackie, this is what happens when you politicians put your snouts into projects. You really stuff them up. You stuff them up big, big, big time. Yes. So, once something's being commissioned, don't put your nose in it and, and, and uh, you're just causing more pain, more stuff ups. More expense, Jackie. Let's have a look at some great, great Bombardier future trains. This is a train in Malaysia. It's a driverless train. Have a look at this. This runs at Malaysia's international airport. Bombardier made these. Maybe, Jackie, we can put these on the line. <laughs> 